Today let's see how to find first and second biggest number in an array without actually sorting them. Here we shall take a smaller array say which contains six elements. We take two variables f big and s big which denotes first big and second big. We assume that f0 itself is first big and f1 is second big which in this case is not true and maybe for other similar cases so first we check if first big is really big or second big is bigger than first big now we have 16 inside f big and 17 inside s big which is second big so first we compare if yeah, second big is greater than first big if that is true which in this case is true we swap these values we send 70 to f big and 16 to s big now we start the comparison we compare first big with f2 starting with f2 now 70 is greater than 8 now we compare s big with a a of 2 16 is also greater than 8 so leave it as it is now compare f big with a of 3 100 is greater than 70 yes so we store 100 inside first big and transfer 70 to second big now compare first big with a of 4 100 is greater than 9 now compare s big with a of 4 70 is greater than 9 as well now compare f big with f5 100 is greater than 85 now compare second big with f5 now 70 is less than 85 now transfer 85 to s big that's it at the end we have first big and second big inside f big and s big variables now let's see how to do this programmatically using c language As we seen in the presentation part, I'll take an array f big and s big, which denotes first big and second big. Temp variable to swap the values. If first big and second big values are not correct, let me ask the user to enter the array limit. and store it inside a variable called n let me declare it first now ask the user to input n elements Now as per the assumption store a of 0 inside first big. Assume that a of 0 itself has the biggest element and store a of 1 inside second big. Now check if this is true or false. If s big second big itself con consists of biggest element just swap the values of f big and s big using temp variable now 
Now start comparing first big f big from a of 2. a of 2 because we have already seen a of 0 and a of 1. So start comparison with a of 2. So the loop should continue from 2 to n. If a of i contains a value which is bigger than the value present inside f big, first transfer the value inside first big to second big. So s big is equal to f big. And first big should contain a of i. There is another case wherein a of i isn't bigger than f big, but it may be bigger than s big. So check that condition. If a of i is bigger than s big, if this is true, store a of i value inside s big. That's it. By by now, we have find we have found f big and s big. Now print it out. First big is percentage d and second big is percentage d. f big comma s big. Okay, we have the closing brace here. Let's save the program, compile, and run it. Enter array limit. Oops. Okay, we have missed this ampersand symbol here. The usual error. I'll make it enter percentage d array elements. And in scanf2, we have to put ampersand here ampersand a of i this should this should work fine again let me give the limit as 6 enter 6 array elements 1 2 20 i'll give 4 55 6 7 first biggest is 55 and second biggest is 20 which is correct practice this program share this video with your friends please like it on youtube thanks for watching